NetSuite Fixed Assets Lease Accounting. I'm going to be dealing with creating a lease record, then I'm going to add lease payments, generate the lease amortization schedule, create the lease journal entry for the asset, proposing a generated a lease asset, recording lease interest and creating depreciation journal. All right, so here is the sweet answer 82498. The lease record lets you propose a lease asset, define the terms of the lease, add lease payments, and create the lease amortization schedule. When a lease journal has been generated, a link to the journal, to the journal entry will be available in the record page. You can manually create leases or through a CSV import. All right, so let's go to NetSuite and the leases are here in the fixed asset menu, right? So you'll see there's leases and there we have all our leases right so you can see i've kind of tested a few of them this morning now to save a little bit of time i've already um, started creating this lease i've put in all the mandatory fields you can see all the ones of these um, orange or gold asterisk right um, and i've given it a asset description and just a random lease contract so let's go and save and create this lease Right, and now, you s now you'll see it says pending lease payments. Right, so if you go and look here, you'll see there's nothing there. So let's go and edit. Right, and then we go start date, we'll say today's date. And let's say the lease payments are $750 per month. And then I'm going to create generate payments and then you'll see it's going to create all the payments, a list of payments, 36 payments because I've got term 36 and I've got monthly as a, as a rental frequency. So let's go generate payments. Then it says your lease payments are being generated. This process may take a while to complete depending on the number of payments. All right. So I'll OK that. And here you can see it's created seven, uh, 36 payments for us of 750 from the date that I that I specified. So let's now save that. Right. Right, now you can see it's changed here to say pending lease creation. Right. Sorry, pending lease journal creation. Right. So that we're now up to the step here. The record displays the status when lease schedules have been created, which I just did, but the ju lease journals have not been created. Right, so let's go and create this journal because we want to basically say debit assets to get it into our asset account, which is the only way you're going to be able to um, propose and generate assets through the fixed asset module. Right, so, I mean, just one second. All right, so you can see here now is the journal, so I can quickly show you that journal. All right, so we've debited our assets, and I've accrued, that should be a leasehold, but I've just used accrued expenses. It's a liability, so that's all good. All right, so let's now go and propose asset. Right, because there's now a transaction sitting in the GL in a fixed asset account. So let's go, we'll just pick the whole month. All right, and then I'm going to say, one second here. I want to look for leasehold improvements. All right, add, and let's go and propose. Oops, sorry, I forgot to do that. It's honeycomb because you can see here this is a honeycomb subsidiary. All right, so let's go and propose new assets. That is then going to open the page that shows us the status, yeah, the FAM process status. And here you can see asset proposal. It's queued. So it's going to take a minute. It's still in queued. Still queued. There you can see. Process stage, one of one, process assets. So I'll just pause for a second to give that a moment to run. Okay, and here you can see the asset has now been proposed. 
right so you can see there one asset so if I now go now the next step of the proposal is creation creation is if when you want to skip the proposal stage so I'm going to go manage asset proposal I should just then see that one proposal right so here you can see here is the test video one so I'm gonna go generate asset for that one and then we're gonna go back to that status page now you can see asset generation is queued right generating the asset I'll pause for one moment okay so that process is now finished let's go see the details and there you can see one asset has been generated right so if I now go back to the lease I created when I update refresh this page I should see the asset and the asset proposal in there so let's refresh this page All right and there you can see there's my asset sorry that's the asset proposal that's the asset there right and here you can see we've got the asset we've got all these details here asset is leased now it's been created from a lease there is no depreciation history so you, let's now see the next step is can we go and post history uh, sorry I mean a depreciation let's try and run that right give me one second yeah all right so I've selected all of those there I'm gonna pick my subsidiary where I know I'm in I'm gonna go and create a depreciation for the end of March and I'm gonna say video and let's then depreciate the assets Alright, and then you can see this process is queued, so I'll pause for one moment. Okay, I'm not getting the depreciation to work at the moment, so I'm just going to move on. I did show the depreciation in the video around fixed assets that I made yesterday. So let me move along. Right, so let's go and record interest. Uh, uh, interest. Right, you can see there the process of running it is queued for the moment I'll pause for a second there you can see st process stage one of one recognize lease interest All right, and here you can see the lease interest journal has been created so if I go and look at my list of journals you should see these journals here right these all improvements got a few journals there's one there right and then just want to quickly show you there you can see right so here's our schedule there are the interest journals that's been posted there was no interest in that month right so it's all tied together quite nicely and then just lastly I just want to quickly show a couple of the searches relating to leases so there's one two three four all right so here's your lease liability report total lease, total interest, all your leases, all your right of use, short term, right, long term. So pretty good, pretty handy. Just remember the leases are sitting here in fixed assets menu. Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel to be notified of new videos. If you found any value, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.